Hi, I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control. Today we're in my office because in a minute or so, we're going to need my computer. But first, let me just share a secret with you. Don't tell anybody. At Vera Control, we never require you to pay a monthly fee in order to control your Vera Connected smart home. And we never require a long-term monthly contract. We don't require any contract at all. Shh. Don't tell anybody. So what we're here to talk about today is adding devices onto your Vera Control Network. I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is. Before I do that, though, let me share a tip with you. When you have a lot of devices to add to your network at the same time, the way that I do it is I unbox everything, I put the batteries in, and I gather it all up, and I put it down on my desk, and I sit down at the computer, and I pair all the devices at once. It's just a much, much faster process with which to go through. For AC power devices, I use an extension cord, and I plug the device in, and I go through the pairing process. If I have more of the same device, if I have multiple door and window sensors or multiple lamp modules, I'm going to take some masking tape after I pair it and name it, and I'm going to label where it's supposed to go. This one says master bedroom left, so I remember where to put it. The other way that you could go about doing it is to go to the location where you're actually going to use it, take it, plug it in, bring over your laptop, your iPad, your tablet, or even your phone, and through the web browser, pair the device onto your network. Now, let me walk you through the process of how we go through adding a device to the network through the web interface. You start by clicking on Add Device. If you've purchased a Vera kit, the devices included in your kit would be populated here. Otherwise, click on Additional Devices here. Then select from the list the type of device that you're going to pair to your Vera network. I'm going to select the Yale touchscreen deadbolt by clicking on the arrow, and then I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen step by step to pair my device. Once I've done what it says on the screen, I click Next. When we click Next from this screen, it's going to put our Vera controller into pairing mode. You now have 60 seconds to pair your device onto the network. Again, make sure to follow the instructions on the screen. Take note at the top of the screen that it tells you Add New Devices Now. Once your device is detected, the Retry button will change to Next. Click Next to continue the process. Now, if the device that you're connecting to your Vera Control Network is not listed in the user interface, you're going to click on Generic Z-Wave Device to add this device. And again, we're going to follow the instructions on the screen and click Next. Now, this next step is really important. It tells us to do something that all of us, we just hate to do this. You're going to have to open and read the manual. It's going to explain to you how to assemble the device if assembly is necessary, and it's going to tell you how to put the device into pairing mode. And when you click Next, it will go into the pairing process just like it did before. Once your device has been paired, you'll click Next, and you'll need to name your device and choose what room it's going into. Once you've done that, you can either click on Finish or add another device. The last step in adding a new device or devices is to go to Settings, select Z-Wave Settings, and click on Repair. And what we're going to do is update our entire Z-Wave network so that the network knows where to find these new devices and knows what other devices these devices can talk to. So we're going to click on Go, and a status box will be in the top of the screen in light blue telling you what is going on and when it is done it will tell you that your network has been repaired or healed. So you can see how easy it is to add a device to your Vera controlled network. Now before we go one last quick tip. If you don't want to poke any holes I didn't want to poke any holes in my wall and if you rent you're not allowed to poke holes in your wall I use 3M command strips. I like to use the velcro so that I can take the device down when it needs to have a battery change and then I can put it back up again. But because it has the pull tab, when you're taking it off the wall, you're not going to take off any paint and you're not going to leave any marks. If there's something you'd like to hear me talk about in future videos, email me, training at getvira.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying your Vera Connected Smart Home.